If the chairman of the Alliance for New Nigeria confirmed the coalition of his party with Young Progressives Party to present a consensus candidate between Fela Dorotoye and Kingsley Mogalu for the presidential election. The chairman also said the two parties are open to form a partnership with other political parties. Joining us now is presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, Omoya Lashoare, to speak on whether or not he is open to a coalition and several other matters. Welcome to the morning show. Thank you for bringing me. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So yesterday we had uh, the chairman, um, Emmanuel Dania, of um, the Alliance for New Nigeria, and he mentioned um, about, he talked about a coalition. And I know that you've also mentioned that um, it will take a true partnership and progressive commitment of patriots to move Nigeria forward, yes. and that you're committed to a coalition. Talk to us about that. Uh, to be honest with you, we already have, our party is a coalition of the oppressed. You know, the abandoned, unemployed, or the poor, and that truly. So what we're looking for is more partnership and enlightenment of you know our platform to accommodate more of the people out there who want their voices to be heard, who want to chart a new path mm -hmm. and course for themselves and uh, this country, Nigeria. So we always invite others to join us, uh, but in this in this case, they haven't reached out to us yet. We understand that we don't have time on our hands, and uh, we're just 17 days to the election. Right. And we have been campaigning. Maybe that's the reason why there's a little bit of difference. So some of these parties are not out there. We are there. This came back to Fauci, we went to uh, the Ankara Game Reserve, I went to Joss. So I really, we really have a hard time to sit around with it. too many meetings. So we are meeting with Nigerian people who are going to vote on February 16th. Uh, 2019. So we aren't quite sure how this coalition uh, will form or how it will work. Do you have an idea? That's why I don't know because I was not part of those meetings. Uh, and you know there was a coalition before called part in the Brother to your one case they disagree with him. Uh, now I don't know how this is going to produce a single but I would assume that uh, they have they figured out how that's, that would work. <coughs> what I'm saying is that our focus at this point is winning the election. And as we go along, we hope more and more people will join us in making sure that this whole order is finally retired and scattered. All right, you just said that um, they haven't asked you yet. Um, if they reach out to you, would you consider joining the coalition? If it's going to produce the kind of result that we think uh, will make, we see, uh, make Nigeria a better country, we are not just going to be part of a coalition for the sake of creating another coalition. There are several coalitions already in the horizon. PDP has about 45 parties in a coalition they call COP. I call them COP of Sorrow. Uh, the other party, ABC, they have their own coalition. There are coalitions all over the place, you know, and I don't just want to chip in the quality of our own uh, party, our programs, by just joining a coalition for the sake of joining a coalition. Because uh, people already know us, know what we stand for. We cannot afford to pollute or dilute what we stand for. Just uh, we must have some kind of genetic uh, similarity mm -hmm. with others who want to form coalition with us. For example, we can't compromise on the issue of minimum wage. You heard the Speaker of the House say yesterday that 30,000 is grossly inadequate uh, for the first time. But before now, they used to ridicule us when we say minimum wage of 100,000 is a starting point for living wage. The Speaker of the House is saying yesterday he's using the word living wage, which has been a mantra for a while. So we can't just join a coalition of people who don't understand us, who don't stand for the same things we stand for. It has to be, it has to be very clear what they're joining us for. And we cannot compromise on who is going to lead the way. Because this is a fight for the liberation of Nigeria. And when you're looking to go to a fight, you have to you know, get uh, your best fighters, experienced fighters to go in, uh, to lead. All right, so you would only join the coalition if there was a clear-cut um, definition of who would lead, and that would be you, I suppose, your party. Oh, no, you know, our position is very clear. We have a presidential candidate, and we know how we're doing out there. there are, there's empirical evidence that apart from maybe the PDP and the ABC, AAC is the party that's doing the best and had biggest reach, uh, the diversity that is needed to lead this country. Uh, to that part that we have defined clearly, progress, peace, and uh, development. 
any other party that's coming to join us cannot be a party that's just sitting down in the corner. Uh, it's not going to be a party that's based online, it only has to be a party based offline and online. It has a reach and the appeal that we think uh, is important for us to defeat. We have two behemoths to defeat. You cannot put uh, ahead of you a weak footing at this point. That's very important. And that's what we're saying that you must look at who is popular out there, who has appeal, who can galvanize youth, uh, women, who can galvanize the, 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 the weak and the poor, who are willing to change the objective conditions. Anything short of this will be, uh, will be a big disappointment to our, our supporters and others who are looking up to us to deliver Nigeria this time. Yes. I suppose the answer to all of those questions would be you. Um, but 